Well, he basically set the stage for all entertainers that came after he did. Judy Garland and you know, the Beatles and Rod Stewart, all these people, Wayne Newton, Bobby Darin, Frank Sinatra. If you ask them who the greatest was, they will say Jolson. The only recording star that was as big as Jolson in his day was Enrico Caruso. And Jolson sold more records. Before the movies learned to talk, they sang. And Al Jolson was the one who taught them. You ain't heard nothing. You want to hear Tutsi? All right. Hold on. Hold on. The film industry had no interest whatsoever in talking pictures. Then came the jazz singer. It's the first talkie with dialogue. And kind of scared the, the, the Warners to death because they had no idea he was going to talk. They knew he was going to sing, but they didn't know he was going to start having a conversation with his mother. Well, he did, and he made it all up. The classic image of Al Jolson is him singing Mammy and waving his hand. Uh, but if people take the time to go back and actually research what he was doing and what others, and it wasn't just him. It's blackface Jolson. Jolson, blackface. And it's, it's unfair, and it's wrong. They are escaping something. They're escaping something from their background, and they're starting afresh. And I think we find that in Jolson, and I think that that certainly affected his performance quite a bit. It's, it is a, a certain type of American story. The uh, clash between the generations and the uh, younger generation running to become Americanized. Well, you ain't heard nothing yet.